would have been so sad if because me, I don't, I, I couldn't run this with just no. one person. Especially me. <laughs> Especially me. Alan is still shy. He's not gotten to that Kyle stage. It's like, I do this. What if something goes wrong? Don't care. I don't care. Screw That's it. What my it's one shot. Fuck it. All right. So you spot. You see the gatehouse. This structure. This is where the path seems to go. There are other structures back here behind it, which is like... This, this looks like a It's still kind of the, the fuck. The trail is like... Yeah, the trail goes to it. So that looks like your target, your temple. That, that what time of day is it? Um, it was about it was about a five or six mile journey. You stop several times, but it's probably only noonish, maybe a little before noon. Okay. I mean, it was, and this trail's already been blazed for you guys, so it wasn't like it, it, it got a little it hard. right. It got a little rough towards the end because there's a lot of uphill and you had to rest several times. But um, other than that, yeah, it's probably eleven o'clock noon. Okay. Now, none of you got much sleep last night, so you're pretty tired, but other than that... We're not sleeping here. <laughs> well, uh, you will be fine. I'll okay. up in the gatehouse and, like, sit. Sure. Watch for a little Sounds bit. Sounds like more like a D&D game, though. Okay. We have to heal, and i got to get my skin off. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just sit around and do nothing for eight hours. We've got all our characters here, so... Yeah. Maybe they were here. Sudden tarmac warps in. Healing spell for all. Okay, so what do you guys want to do? Uh, just keep going. Like. Going to the temple? I mean, that's where like there, the path goes. There, yeah. Is there, there only because you can do anything you want? Is there only one entrance to the temple? Uh, yeah, it looks like a big entrance in the front. Uh, okay, here, wait. Uh, let me describe the temple a little bit here. Um. It looks kind of... Right. It looks like it's about to fall down. It's covered with vines and jungle creepers. It looks like it's made of basalt, again. Probably the only reason it survived this long, because it's super hard stone. Um, it looks like there are many windows on the outside. Um, set high in unadorned walls. Um, and then there's this great huge tower, which has vines and creepers running all the way up to the top. Um... That's what you can make out from outside. And it looks like it's pretty good crap. Uh, how far away are we? You guys are on a rise, and it's about, and you can see it from like this distance, so probably several, five or six hundred yards. Okay. I tell them then to kind of like keep quiet. And okay, you got a king over rise, yeah. and that's where you see the city on the next hill. And you have to kind of go down and come back up, and go down and come back up, up this way towards the temple. Where it's all like mash. Yeah. yeah, okay. You're all like, okay. People pulling daggers and swords and guys readying their muskets or their pistols or everybody's ready. It's like, oh. They're ready. What do you guys Let's get us charge now. What do you want to do? Just heading, are you just following the trail? You have seen no sign of any people up here at all. Is there like forest on either side of the trail? Mm-hmm. Yes, jungle. It's jungle. Um, oh, I want to kind of. Pretty dense. I mean, I know we have a lot of people, but I kind of like to push to one side. Mm-hmm. Um, and I and I say like, if you see anybody, just go into the bush. Okay. Like, They'll do that. All right. Uh, then I'm gonna lead them forward. Okay. Towards and the temple. So you're going like through the woods. No, we're like right, like on the edge of the woods. Okay, okay. So you're on one side of the trail yeah. and ready to like duck out of sight. Yeah, as yeah. best you can with the hundred yeah. guys. Yeah, I yeah. Know. That's okay. They got two hundred. We behind. should see them it's, first. Yeah. Cool, mad. What <laughs> treasure? He's back there pouting somewhere. It's okay. Phil. Um, nothing happens as you like approach the temple. You know what I mean? Um, you get up right up to the entrance if you want. Without anything happening, I mean, there's no shout of alarm, there's no, like, gunfire, nothing happens to you guys. You, and I'm assuming you guys are towards the front. Um, you reach, like, a great vaulted door, open, it's not, there's no door, it's just like a vaulted yeah, opening on the side of this temple. Are there any other entrances? Not that you can see. There could potentially be somewhere on back. Yeah, you can keep How long would it take to check? It's a pretty big building. Um, it's like, I guess the size, to give you guys perspective, it's probably the size of a, uh, maybe half the size of a football field. It's a big building. I'm going to say send about four or five guys around just to see if there's any other okay. way in. Are you going to wait for them to get back? Yes. Before you do anything? Okay. That's what the quartermaster suggests. Okay. 
Uh, they return within like five or ten minutes, and um, they don't see any other entrance to this place. There's a lot of windows. They're nervous about the windows, cause they're, but they're really high up. The windows are like 15, Way 20 up feet up on the wall. Yeah. They didn't see anything else, nothing moving, nothing. No, there's a lot of jungle. One man's like, I thought I saw something. You're drunk, Rupert. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm only a little drunk. I was trying to think of a name, and like, <laughs> it was coming, and I'm like, no. It was only two bottles of rum. <laughs> only two bottles. Let's get Rupert's name now. <laughs> Rupert. The only survivor. <laughs> Alright, what do you guys want to do? So your, your scouts have come back. They walked all the way around as much best they could, and didn't find any other. The whole place, that, they hadn't seen any other sign of anybody back there either. It's not like... <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, I want to peek in. Well, though the exterior seems decrepit, the interior appears to have been cleaned and refurbished to some point. Um, there are crawling vines on the walls. Like, even, you know, all this growth has gone inside, and they're still there. But the floor... It is about 100 feet across. It's been cleared. Um, there's a broken mosaic etched in the solid stone, and it looks like an underwater motif. It's very realistic. Um, the center is carved, but like the center towards. Okay, so pretend you're just looking at a mosaic on the floor. So it looks like it's carved, so it looks like there's a tower that leads up to this plinth, upon which you see this huge ass statue made of solid gold, apparently. Although it has kind of a whitish sheen to it. Um, Sandwich. <laughs> what? Sandwich. <laughs> Maybe I gotta check. I don't know if I made it. You get one for this one since oh. the other one is more realistic. Um, the center is carved like a tall tower, and so carved into it are people and other things that they are like. They appear to be at worship. They're like on their knees and they're down. You're looking. It's like you're looking down, and they're like thirty or forty feet below you. You know what I mean? That's how it's carved to look like. Um, many, some of them look like fish men. They are like half man, half fish. Um, in the very center is the statue of this, uh, this, this what appears to be a solid gold statue. It's quite hideous. It's about the same size as the one on the trail. Uh, it's depicting a squatting figure with long claw, claws on the beaten arms. Great tentacles sprout from the base and its wings, and like those on the road. The wings, unlike those on the road, the wings on the road one are all like crinkled. This one's all like big and above it. Um, um, the metal has a kind of a weird white sheen to it, but it does appear to be made of solid gold. It stands on a plinth five feet across in the center of the room um, on a short dais that's a little wider than the plinth, almost as if it were meant to be there. Um, I mean, yeah, here's the plinth. Boom, the plate, and then there's a dais that's just slightly bigger than the gold one. Um, there you go, that's all you see. You don't see any people in here. You don't see, see any chests. You don't see any chests. Okay. I have an idea. Yes, yeah, a cunning plan. <laughs> well, we know that um, Cromwell is going to come here to sacrifice these guys and the gold. So I say we ambush them. As they come to the temple. Aren't they here already? Where are they? Let's know the day of them. Yes. Yeah, it is. I think I'm a superstitious person with all the witchy stuff happen after dark. Where are they? They're probably at the village. Do you really want to go into no. the village with all the pretty people? Then we're going to ambush them pretty. here. Gross. Mm. Okay. <laughs> so we don't pay you to think, Tom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Tom. Oh, Tom. There's not um, a Okay, um, so you go into this place. Uh, you each make me spot hidden. But there's no other entrances, yeah, yeah. there's no like alcoves, there's no place anybody could be, so it's totally empty and quiet. Who made it? No? Nope. Um, the dais that the statue and the plinth are on, there is like. Around the edge of it, it's. How do I describe this? It doesn't look like it's connected to the floor. You know what I mean? It's like there's a black line that runs around the edge of the entire base. 
that make sense? Like it's kind of floating there? Not like it's floating, almost like it's like it goes down into the floor. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And then there's then there and, and what you're seeing, what you notice when you walk over to it and you're looking for a place to hide and ready yourself for ambush, is that instead of just being like a dais that's built onto the floor, you know what I mean? If you looked at a if you looked at a piece, if you look at something that's laying on something, you see the line here. Yeah. Right? You're seeing the line on this side. Like down into the floor. Oh, so like it actually goes into the floor. Yes. Mm-hmm. Which is unusual. That's why it strikes you. That's why you made just walk it. Tell the captain. Okay, you tell the captain. Yeah. Now this is like where the statue is. Or? Yeah, yeah. The statue. This right is the flint I was telling you about. Yeah, right? yeah. And then the little dais is only like maybe a foot tall. But it's the all the way around, just about, a, we'll say an extra five or six inches. But then it looks like there is space between the actual dais and the actual floor. So the dais can actually like sink or rise, possibly. possibly. I want to push it. Push it, how so? Like, I'll push down. Uh, nothing happens. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You're planning some guys to help you if you want to try to do that. I mean, it's. This giant statue on top of the dais. But you can try. You can all grab hold of the statue and just get a dozen men. Thing. Or, or, well, or try to grab yeah. the dais and get a dozen men and try to rotate it. You know, if I rotate the dais, not the statue. Which way? Uh, let's go right. Okay. Or clockwise. There, it actually starts to spin almost immediately. Like, very smoothly when you have 20 guys working on it. Man, this thing is on ball bearings. <laughs> it's on what? Ball bearings. Uh, there is a clanking noise, um, and um, in the back there's more noise in the back of the temple, and you see a section of floor does that. Yes. How wide is the passage? Wide. Probably 20 feet. Well, no. Wait, what? <laughs> I can't even, you go over and look at it. How about that? Yeah. And it that, it like pivoted the floor, pivoted down, and put down to where there is a set of steps that des- descend even deeper, and kind of go off to your right. Right to your right. And it's dark. Yes. You guys can make torches. It's like we're like so much jungle. Yeah, we can make jungle. You can make torches. You can make infinite torches. <laughs> you can make torches for days. <laughs> I mean, we have a hundred men. Like, we we go, it'll take you like twenty minutes to gather enough to have like dozens of torches in one. I still think it'd be a good idea to send scouts ahead, though. Instead of us all just clambering down the stairs. You could. And all right, poor master, pick some men. Tom. Tom. <laughs> Uh, your like your boats run and sends volunteers would be in order. Yeah. Okay, so you ask for volunteers, you get you get half a dozen guys, and you make torches, they're a little nervous, and they they disappear into the darkness. They're back in about 15 minutes, and they said they went down a ways until they heard what they thought was chanting coming from over their head. People, people chanting. It sounded eerie. It sounded so oh, weird. Did, did they have the gold? I don't. We stopped. We came back up. It sounded like there was a lot of them. Like 200 of them? Yeah. <laughs> 204. Shut up, Tom. <laughs> Smart mouth backing. <laughs> How? I thought it was funny. It Poor wasn't Tom. a little funny, Tom, but still. <laughs> Tom sold some more. He's a soldier. Okay. That's what your scouts tell you. They're worried about going further alone. Because they do have lights. Let's get more torches. <laughs> You've got time to make tons of torches. Torch. You have plenty. You, you have enough. You have you have enough. Everybody gets a torch. Well, you can have like <laughs> a half your guys if you want. Or you can have a quarter of your guys. That would be yeah. more than enough. Yeah, I'm not a quarter. Okay. So about a quarter. About 25 guys have torches in it. And they have flintlock pistols in their hands. They've thrown their muskets over their shoulders. What are you doing? What's the plan? We're going for that gold. 
And if not, we're escaping oh. with our lives. Hooray for escaping with our lives. <laughs> Alright, um, you don't go very far. You don't, you've only started, uh, the scouts didn't report this, but it didn't probably seem important. There's a big wheel in the wall to your left as you go down a little ways. I'm guessing it might work this yeah. mechanism from the inside. Um, the staircase is made of basalt. Uh, steps are worn at the passage of countless feet. Yeah, it's a good, it's a good stone. It lasts a long time. <laughs> Dust hangs heavy in the air. Um, but you know, but it, Obviously, a lot of people have walked this way before, even before your scouts. A lot of the dust is, is already disturbed. But it was always disturbed sometime before. It's not like hanging in the air. It's just it's like clear. Up. Yeah, it's cleared from the, the middle and it's only around the edges. Um, you guys can uh, make uh, listen checks. Uh, give yourself a bonus of 25% because you know what you're listening for. Got it. Did you? Okay, Ashton, you don't hear it. Before Colin does, is basically what it comes down to. You do hear chanting, and it sounds like it's pretty far away. Um, you tell like 204 men. Could be. <laughs> um, There's 205 down there, so help me, Tom. <laughs> you're, you're, you're walking downhill for another five minutes before, after you hear this chanting, and you've, you've heard it by now. If you need um, to shoot two, at least. <laughs> who? What? We have Wait, 100 what? men. Oh, okay. <laughs> you need to kill two of these. The steps end in a... Tom, I expect three. Uh, I only have two bullets. The, uh, the, uh, the white steps... Um, let's see. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, it ends in what looks like another wide corridor that goes straight ahead, perhaps 40 feet, before it appears to open, and you can see lights ahead. Uh, some kind of firelight, torchlight, or something. But you can't see, like... The floor seems to just end, and the light seems to be coming up from below. You know, does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it goes like 40 feet, and then maybe a little bit more, um, and then it just ends, and the light seems to be coming up from below. It's kind of what you can make out from the foot of the steps. What are you doing? <laughs> Creeping. Um, let's do a general sneak check. One person can make it. Who's got the best sneak? I don't know. No, yeah, yeah. What, what have you guys both got? You got the same? Yeah, we both have ten. Ten? ten? So who wants to make the roll? This is just for you as a group. It might not even make any difference. It might just be me fucking with you. 65, okay. You're okay. making, you're making your way there. I thought that was two zeros for a second. I was yeah. like, 100%. <laughs> no! No, I had a five and like oh, two zeros. I'm like, oh. No. That would have been good. You guys are making your way as quietly as possible. You have a hundred guys, all of them armed and like, Tank, tank, yeah, tank yeah, with yeah, swords yeah. and everything. So yeah. it, it's, it sounds ungodly loud. Um, if you'd have made it, they actually would have been like super quiet, but no. Um, at the end of the corridor, you guys are in the lead, right? What you see is it looks like a natural cavern ahead, but you're like near the top of it, and there are wide stairs that go down on either side. There's like a small balcony, not small, it's 40 feet across. Like a wide balcony area with then wide stairs on either side. Um, as you creep forward to peek into this cavern, you see that it's huge. It's probably at least 200 feet across. Stalactites hang down from the ceiling directly in front of you, which you can see down into it. Um, and it looks like it goes down like maybe 50 or. Uh, uh, wait a minute. 200 feet across. Oh, you're 100 feet above what appears to be a cavern floor below. Okay? The steps go down on either side. So here's you guys. Steps, wide steps, again, like 20, 30 feet wide, go down on either side. They end in another place, another, like, area. In front of this area is a wide, 100-foot-wide pool of water that's perfectly circular. And it's just calm as the deep blue sea. And it seems blue. On the other side of it, you can see um, another, on the cleared area, you can see another cave kind of goes back from, the, from this area down below. But in this area is several, a couple hundred men chanting wildly. Um, there's another statue like this one, but this one stands upright. It's standing up. The wings are above it, so it's huge. It's also apparently made of solid gold. Um, some 20 feet high, uh, maybe 10 feet across. Uh, there is, it is slick around the base with reddish, brownish mess. Um, the place is lit by numerous torches, throwing terrifying and odd shadows across the room and water. Around the statue, piled like cordwood, dead and bloody, are what appear to be the bodies of the 150 massacred crewmen of the Spanish ship. 
Um, they're, just, they're just literally piled up. Um, the 200 pirate crewmen of the Stars of Right are gathered around the statue on the floor. They are barely able to fit into this narrow area between this and the pool of water. They are chanting wildly, led by a man with long hair who seems to egg them on. Ooh, a man with long hair who seems to egg them on. Who could that be? There he is. Cromwell. <laughs> He's egging them on. Yeah. Near the foot of the steps to the right, to your right, so over right here near the foot of the steps, is a negress. Um, she is watching the ceremony nervously. She looks something like that. I want you to make out. Um, next to her are two men. Standing next to her are two men that are naked from the waist up that just look kind of like blindly. Straight ahead. Um, they're chanting. And the crewmen are chanting. Cromwell is, le- is like whipping them into like this frenzy. Uh, you guys and maybe five or six of your probably your officers are there with you in the lead. Uh, did you leave any officers behind? I mean, Master Carpenter, you didn't leave yeah. him behind because he didn't have anything that he can't work on his own. Remember, you took all the extra men. You got all uh, your men are either on board the uh, I think didn't you? Yeah, we only left. We left thirty-five. Twenty-seven. Ship, Who were the twenty-seven? On. Twenty-seven to guard. Guard, yeah, yeah. Not to work. So Master Carpenter's there with you too, and all the other guys except for that one officer, except for uh, Philip Glasgow. Yeah. You made to stay him. You made him stay behind in command. He's in command back there. So otherwise, all your officers are creeping forward too and looking forward, and they're just like, you know, up all. Give me some chess. Mm. Make a spot hidden. Ah. You each get a spot hidden, yeah. and then I'll let you make just one generic yes. spot hidden base for oh. your other officers. How about oh. see if whoever wants to make a column, make me another spot hidden base. I think it's twenty-five. Oh. See if any of the officers can so. Okay, so you know the one that sees. There is a chest behind, just over, almost behind the statue, the like pushed back out of the way. It's no, no. There's like five chests. They're big, very big chests, and they're closed. But they look like contemporary. They're like not all like all this ancient old yeah, yeah. creepy crap that's all around you. That's not right, but you're the one who notices. You're just like. Oh. And where so, is this behind? It's like. So yeah, okay. Here, I'll draw you. Where's that map of the island that I that prompt that I drew? I like visual stuff too. When I like, oh shit, I can't. Read. Okay, so. <laughs> Here's where you guys are. Steps. Steps. Okay. Here's a rough map, Ashton. Here's you guys. Up at the top. Uh This whole place is 200 feet across. Yeah. These wide steps go down inside. Here's the statue on the other side. And all the crazy cultists, crewmen, Captain Cromwell, on at the base of the steps here is the black woman. Back here, like tucked over here, is where you see the chests. Now I notice this to scale. So the chests are kind of behind the cultist crewmen. Whoops. Okay. And they're all focused towards us? No, they're kind of looking at the statue and like oh, dancing okay. around yeah, it yeah. and screaming, chanting. Ah, 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 ah. Uh, chanting some crazy language. Cromwell is also chanting that language. Um, there you go. And how far away are we from them? Uh, let's see. It's 200 feet across. 33 yards across. And then at an angle down 100 feet. I have to do math to do this. Hold on. Because it's x times y. It's 200 feet across. It's roughly. Where's my calculator? Damn it. Calculator. So it's 200 squared. So 40,000 plus 100 squared. 10,000 plus 40,000. 50,000 square root. Oh, there's no square root on this calculator? Are you fucking kidding me? Square root of 50,000. Here, wait. I can look it up on one. Yeah. So 
here's where we are. I'm not just a big thing. It's just a square. It's just a statue. It's all men. And they're the gents. Oh. <laughs> Can we tell how deep the water is? Try throw something. 223. Yeah, splash. They're 223 feet away. What? 220. That doesn't make sense. No. X squared plus Y squared should equal Z squared. Right? Yeah. For a triangle. Yeah. Because it's 200 feet across, roughly. I want to be down. So 40,000 is the 200 plus 10,000 is the 100. It's 50,000. What's the square root of 50,000? I can't believe you don't just have fucking answer. What? Right? 50,000 square root. Is it two, three, and three? How can it be more? Oh, I guess it could be more, couldn't it? So it's 223 feet away. Sure. Okay. Two, two, three, divided by three is 74 yards. Does that sound right? Internet, does that sound right? 